The unofficial start of summer is here. Memorial Day is upon us, and there is a ton to do in the city of Philadelphia as well as in the suburban counties. And I'm going to share some of the coolest things you can do this weekend with some time off next. If you like what you hear, you get some value out of this, make sure to subscribe to the channel and click on the bell for notifications. And if you want to schedule a call with our team, you can do that with the link in the comments. Memorial Day, one of my favorite weekends of the year because you get this little break right before the end of school. If you got kids like I do, you know, this time of year gets bananas crazy with activities and graduations and all sorts of stuff. So Memorial Day is a nice time to kind of hit a pause button and celebrate the unofficial start to summer. So here's what I'd be doing locally because a lot of people are going to go down the shore Check out Ocean City, Wildwood, Sea Isle, you name it, Cape May, all those towns. I'm talking about locally in the greater Philadelphia area if you're staying home. One of the first things that comes to mind that I am a big proponent of is the Devon Horse Show. This has been a staple. I've been going to the Devon Horse Show since I was a kid. They've got carnival games. They've got all sorts of equestrian events. This is at the Devon Horse Show grounds. It's right on Lancaster Avenue. One of the most fun things you can do to kill some time, get outside, have a cocktail at the bar. Devon Horse Show, if you're in Chester County or the main line, a must-do for Memorial Day weekend. That would be my number one recommendation and something I've gone to probably 20, 30 times at this point in my life. Besides the Devon Horse Show, there's going to be some things here to commemorate the folks that gave the ultimate sacrifice for our country, which is super important. And you're going to see that throughout a couple of these events here. So you've got the Constitution Center. Uh, the National Constitution Center downtown has free admission Saturday through Monday with special programming, including daily flag ceremonies and presentations uh, talking about some of the most famous memorials and monuments in the U.S. Free admission. It's at 525 Arch Street in Philadelphia. Another great thing to check out if you want to get a bite of history. You've also got the American Revolution Museum. So they've got a lot of activities there. It's the Museum of American Revolution. That's located down on South 3rd Street, 101 South 3rd. They've got some special Memorial Day programming as well. Um, and it commemorates all the folks who sacrificed the men and women, their lives in the fight for freedom. And has some discovery cards highlighting uh, the daily life of Revolutionary War soldiers. It was hard living back then. We got it great now. And then there's hands-on activities for kids like memorial-themed ribbons and revolutionary-themed thank-you cards for people in the American Legion, which is very cool. Another great thing to check out this weekend, that's the Museum of American Revolution on South 3rd Street. And there's also a Memorial Day celebration at Laurel Hill Cemetery. My son was just there putting up flags with his Boy Scout troop a couple weeks ago. This is a, a really cool thing. So... Um, the site of Philadelphia's first Memorial Day commemoration in 1868 was at Laurel Hill Cemetery. That's at 3822 Ridge Ave. Um, and they have an afternoon program featuring wreath laying, patriotic music, honor guards, refreshments. And the event runs from noon to 2 p.m. on Sunday of Memorial Day weekend, May 26th. And it's open to the public. So that's a great one. And then lastly... You've got the Memorial Day ceremony on the Cruiser Olympia. So this is on uh, South Columbus Boulevard, and it's on the Philly side of the river. It's a free event with a color presentation, patriotic tunes, and a speech from Naval Admiral Karen Flaherty Oxler. Very cool event. That's 10 a.m. on Memorial Day on Monday. So you got some great historic stuff happening in the birthplace of the revolution. Love all those events. You also got a great website you can check out if you're in the suburbs. It's kidschesco.com, and they talk about all the different parades and ceremonies going on. There's uh, fireworks at Longwood Gardens uh, on Sunday, May 26th. Um, Sesame Place has fireworks going on, if that's what you want to go check out. And then there's a lot of stuff happening in Chester County with Memorial Day parades ranging from Saturday to Monday, the same thing that you're seeing in a lot of the local municipalities. Um, there's a taco fest at the Chad's Ford Winery. Very cool. Um, I can't say no to tacos. It's a great, great thing. And uh, they're going to have taco trucks, live music, and th their featured drink, which is a Frosé wine slushy. Hopefully the weather cooperates to make that delicious. And that's a great thing. to. And it, admission's free, and tables are available on a first-come, 
first serve basis. There's the Kennett Square Memorial Day Parade. There's one of those in Ardmore as well. Um, you've got one in on Lancaster Avenue in Wayne. There's tons of parades happening, and you've, uh, as well as down even in Aston, so in, in parts of Delaware County. So um, a lot of good stuff happening on Memorial Day itself, and a lot of it's local, which, which is really cool. So that's a jam-packed weekend of what to do. So what I would encourage everyone to do is see what's local. Devin Horse Show I'm a big fan of. I'd check that out. Love some of the historic stuff in Philadelphia itself and see what's going on locally in your community or in your, your neighborhood to support those local vets and the local folks who gave the ultimate sacrifice. It's a great time to spend with family and friends. Enjoy it. Memorial Day's here. Check it out, Philadelphia.